Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. My server is finally ending of the season sub 2 and it's finally time to speak about the best performing hero pair in the whole game. Doesn't really matter if you are tier 5 player, pay to win, free to play player. These hero pair have been the best performing hero pair in, in terms of merits, in terms of strengths and in terms of survivability. Of course this hero pair came out only just this season, it's a newest hero pair and of course I'm speaking about Magrot and Zaida. Today we are going to speak about the specialties of this hero pair, why they are why it's so good and how you can build up this hero pair to be more powerful than any other archer or any other hero pairs in the game at first of course we need to understand what kind of skill set these two hero pair has that makes them so strong right the uniqueness of the magrot and zaida is in a style for example for other hero pairs we have a nico and kinara skill damage factor we have syndrome and fragar normal attack crit rate and finally the newest style is about normal attack with is healing well healing grants the archers and the normal attackers the survivability it's like a lifesteal right more damage you are dealing more healing you are getting which gonna make your legion stay alive longer and you're gonna deal more, more damage whenever you are fighting the main skill of the magrat is like peach stream and it's the one of the most unique skills which i have ever seen in call of dragons magrat legion gains variable healing variable healing is simply more units you are killing on the battlefield uh, more uh, healing you are get and of course like unit tier depends right if you are defeating tier 5 units you are getting more and more heal whenever they deal normal attack damage uh, when wearable healing has been triggered five times and it's pretty easy to trigger it because uh, it can be triggered once per second their next normal attack deals 450 percent normal attack damage bonus you can understand how much of this number it is right and of course every single second you're gonna uh, heal your yourself with the rate of five percent well five percent might sound like a low amount but whenever you are not dealing normal attack damage you are throwing normal attacks like every one second even even lower right so this is pretty unique passive skill which is one of the best passive skills i have ever seen in call of dragons and that's what actually makes this hero pair so strong right let's continue and let's look at the synergies with the first skill so from here we understand normal attacker with healing second skill is simply like whenever you are getting variable healing and you are going to get it like almost every single second you have a 40 percent chance to gain gain attack bonus right a simple attack bonus for normal attacker is always great uh, and simple buffs again one more passive skill normal attack damage bonus 50% and HP bonus 20% 20% is a great amount uh, which gonna make this legion with its, its hero pair pretty tanky and survivable in the battlefield fourth skill is like garrison skill and if you are archer player finally you have a archer garrison leader who will be using archer units in terms of defense so pretty great we already had mage one we already had cavalry one and finally we are having archer garrison hero healing factor 200 attack bonus 10 percent no, nothing really special like itself that magrat is garrison leader it can be garrison leader for archers is already great in terms of awakening skill there is one big plus 50 percent more so we're gonna deal 500 percent more damage after you're gonna trigger wearable healing so well everything around magrat is this first skill which is peach stream right and let's see uh, why this hero pair is so great because it should have some kind of synergies with zaida right and let's check the zaida out uh zaida has again normal attack damage bonus eight percent which is already synergy towards magrat which will because Magrot is all about normal attacks. March speed bonus. Well, archers have been always lacking some march speed, so why not? Like additional bonus for that. The interesting stuff starts from the second skill damage dealt 10% and also healing received bonus 20%. 
that's what's gonna make this legion stay alive longer because magroth will give a lot of healing and zyda will amplify this healing in terms of bonus to 20 percent great great skill third skill physical attack bonus and march speed bonus 30 percent is amazing number and 10 percent again more movement speed in general for marksman movement speed and march speed they are like more survivable abilities that you're gonna position yourself in a different um, area so you will deal more damage right fourth skill like crit rate 25 percent um, uh, not bad right um in general magrot and zydna is not about crit rate but uh, whenever archer is normal attacker it Additional crates is always a great idea. Awakening skill that's like down which uh, marker, which like getting stacks and how Zaida is dealing damage, and you're gonna get three stacks upon entering battle. Um, it should not be like the most popular awakening skill in my opinion. So the synergy is pretty simple. You are dealing a lot of normal attack damage. You are healing a lot yourself, and by the healing you are staying alive longer. And as I have said it many times in many different videos, uh, if you want to get merits in this game, you have to stay alive it's not about dealing a lot of damage it's not about having a lot of defenses it's all about staying alive so uh, with my own experience which i have seen with tier 5 players with tier 4 players uh magrot and zyda have been the best performing uh, legion hero pair in pvp simply because they are getting too much survivability out of this healing and they are having a lot of damage with the normal attacks right if you want to deal damage with normal attacks you have to stay alive and you and if you, if you want to have if you want to stay alive you have to have some kind of healing or some kind of defensive capabilities in our case it's about healing so like pre-synergy is pretty simple more healing with this skill decisive duel um magrot is giving a lot of healing to the zyda zyda will amplify it um also some kind of great buffs which is 30 percent physical attack bonus uh physical attack bonus generally applies to normal attacks and that's why i think it's a great addition to the kit of the zyda and magrot right uh in terms of artifacts of course there is one big uh, artifact which um, of course is the main artifact for this hero pair and that's of course um, is guided crossbow and of course you can see it by the looks it already like matches the theme of this hero pair but let's understand why it's so perfect for this hero pair right at first we need to mention that marksman pvp assault is a great um buffs and bonuses to have on a pvp hero pair marksman unit attack legion attack amazing um stats for the pvp hero pair uh, most important starts with the skill with the, which is glittering bolt to deals diffuse damage every second every second right to up to three legions uh, with the range and increases your march speed by 40 percent you can move while this skill is active that's also really important because some of the artifacts uh, you can't move such as rattle spear whenever you are using the skill right um, damage type is physical damage factor is 650 duration is four seconds and what's the most important about this artifact is that um, additional effect increases your legion's enemy hp bypass by seven percent um seven percent is a high number honestly like you are neglecting enemy's hp health by seven percent uh, by being archer by dealing damage from the range by dealing huge amount of damage by normal attacks that's already a great 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 um, additional effect for this gilded crossbow. Uh, i understand not everybody can get gilded crossbow and let's have the other uh, options for this hero pair in terms of artifacts right let's think about the more universal artifacts which you can get from the normal keys such as uh, shadow blades of course i like shadow blades because it has the same stats um, in terms of marksman and in terms of talents of the artifact and of course like shadow games is not a new skill everybody already understands what this skill does uh dealing damage to five nearby legions and pretty high damage factor uh in terms of other artifacts well heart of kamasi can be done but it's more of a defensive artifact and i think 
uh, healing is already too too much defensive stat to have in Magro Tenzaida. You don't need more. But of course, if you don't have any other option and you already only have one uh, legendary artifact for your marksman hero pair, Heart of Kamasi can be absolutely fine. Uh, which is which gonna give you physical attack, which is keen, great, uh, great skill for normal attackers and also onslaught normal attack damage deal 15% duration 10 seconds that can be like a, a, another option more defensive option for Magro Tenzaida that's a great um, artifact which is really underrated in my opinion it's a Heart of Gamasi of course there is another choices um, such as Viola's bow it has a great uh, skill which deals absolutely amazing amount of damage um, and in terms of stats I don't like that it has unit HP and legion HP uh, generally I rate HP so much that I prefer in terms of attack more like whenever you are picking mana stone I al always prefer HP but um, in artifact I think it will be much better to have assault artifacts which has the attack bonuses on the bow stats right but I think um, legion HP and marksman HP is much better than defensive stats for ar for archers if we're gonna compare it into the car heart of Gamas, right of course there is one more choice which is gold crest um, in this case we have a marksman unit attack and legion attack and of course you are dealing the skill damage factor 2800 which is a great amount and also you are getting haste which is um, like simply march speed bonus 15% for 10 seconds also there is like a Additional effect, um, but this effect only procs for the, for the Fragar. That's why I still think that Gold Crest is much, um, much, much better for Syndrome and Fragar. Uh, that's all for the artifacts for this amazing hero pair. I think in the choice is pretty obvious. Scalded Crossbow is the number one choice, uh, and then of course there is a couple of choices depending on your playstyle. In terms of talents for Magroth and Zaida, unfortunately I still couldn't get Magroth, which I tried so much but i hope in the next wheel of destiny i will be able to get it but in terms of talents there is obvious choice that's why magroth is um, primary hero in this pair, hero pair simply because of the precision talent i think precision talent is the best talent tree for any marksman hero so i even use nico as a primary simply because i have precision talent here right so uh, like choice is pretty obvious if you are playing with Magro and Zaida, you are going to go for the precision talent um, and in general i think for marksman it's precision for mages it's skill for cavalry it's uh, movements like mobility or skill and for tanks uh, for infantry it's tank so whenever i saw magro having uh, precision talent i already understood that this hero pair would be amazing in the in the game and they would be performing on a high level so if only i had magro the way magro unlocked i will be more than more than glad to speak about in details about the talents but as i always prefer you guys to check it by yourself read every single talent which you have um, there as an option so you will understand what kind of gameplay you can play uh, with this hero pair uh, in terms of um, war pets well i have said it many times war pets have been one of my favorite um, editions of the edition of the game and of course in the war pet section we have a couple of choices which i think will be great for magro and zaida i think number one choice should be sand lizard yet again more healing more survivability more damage you are dealing if you are just staying alive on the battlefield and that's what actually sand lizard gives us the stone aura is about healing uh, your legion heals up to four of your nearby legions every six seconds and of course um, like in general the skills of the sand lizard i would go for the chain strike synergy because chain strike synergy is an amazing synergy for normal attackers uh, that's like a main uh, sand lizard is a main warped for the magro tenzaida in my opinion but let's say you don't have sand lizard will build up and you have something else such as nitrog nitrog is also great warped for normal attackers and i think uh, if you're gonna compare it to sand lizard i think sand lizard is better because of healing and how much amplifiers the 
this hero pair has but nitrog has more damage in my opinion more crit rate and you have like 30 percent chance to deal additional damage upon landing crit rate and we already know that zyda's force skill is giving us some crit rate in terms of other skills um, rather than like main talent skills yet again i would go for chain strike synergy especially because of the advanced chain strike which gonna give us healing rate and healing with the uh, magrat and zyda is absolutely amazing that's why in the warped section we have two choices one is of course sand lizard if we want to make our hero pair more tankier and uh, tankier means you are getting more merits and if you want purely more damage you are going for the nitrog in terms of other warpets um, i think this two, two is so much better than anything else that i should not even speak about something else that's why sand lizard and nitrog is the way to go uh, in terms of warpets for this amazing uh, hero pair in terms of getting how you will be able to get Magrat and Zyda, well, um, unfortunately, Magrat is only gettable from Wheel of Destiny, and Wheel of Destiny happens only at the season ending rewards, right? So you have only one, one try in terms of Wheel of Destiny. If you will get lucky, you will get Magrat. And another way how you can get Magrat is about strongest lords, and unfortunately, strongest lord is a is all about pay to win players getting the desired tokens for their desired heroes that's why if you are a free to play player don't try to spend your speed ups or resources to get uh, magrot from the wheel of destiny because in general uh, the most rewards from this event um, are for the players who are paying a lot of money in the game uh, that's why we have only one way of getting magrot it's about wheel of destiny but in other cases in case of Zyda. Zyda can be gettable from the lucky spins. Lucky spins happen pretty usually in this game, so you will have a lot of chances in order for you to get Zyda in general, right? Um, even if you are just uh, farming your gems, 1k gem per week, and you will have like 5 or 6k gems for the lucky spins of Zyda, I'm pretty sure you will be able to unlock her, and at least you are going to get her in your lineup so we like that's how it, it in general happens when two legendary heroes comes out one is more much more harder to get you need to be at least some kind of lucky to get and the other one you can get from just playing the game in our case uh, more free to play friendly legendary hero is zyda and the mainly um like lucky oriented legendary hero if you are not paid to win player that's magrot right uh, in general i think this hero pair have been not only in terms of marksman the best hero pair in the whole game in the season sob 2 uh, let's see what's gonna happen in the future whenever there won't be any long range warfare for the marchers in this game maybe the playability and the strongness of this hero pair will drop but so far i think nobody would disagree if i will say that this hero pair has been the best right they have been the most tanky damage dealer they have been dealing the most damage they have been getting more and more merits like every single my alliance member who is tier 5 they are getting 65k 100k like 150k merits out of the fights with the tier 5 units of the magro Zyda. and not only tier 5 even tier 4 players have been getting like 35k merits 40k merits and even 50k merits that's how strong it is and actually my own play style is played around staying a live longer as possible and i think magrot and zyda is all about that that's why i think they are generally the main merit printers in the game let's think let's see maybe in the future whenever new two cavalry heroes come out they will be the number one choices but so far i think um in this season sop 2 which is the latest season uh, so far this hero pair has nothing to lose it's all about great gameplay and it's all about getting you lot of merits that's why i still think that that's the best hero pair you can get in this game um, i hope you enjoyed this um, uh, small guide about this hero pair and why i think it's the best one if you did press like subscribe share is it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game i hope everybody is going to have amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck